Enzo Cast, do, do you mind if we... A little... By all means, give it a shot. Thank you, thank you. Considering the fact that I am a level 21, yes, level 21 Pokemon Go trainer. <laughs> Team Valor for life. Let's start it off like this. Charmander. How you doing? How you Bulbasaur. How you doing? Squirtle. How you doing? Arbok. How you doing? Gengar. How you doing? Caterpie. How you doing? Metapod. Butterfree. Now we're only doing the original 150, but that means we got like 130 to go. Wait, baby. Wait, wait, wait. wait. Yeah, I think a lot of my paychecks are going to go to Dave & Buster's at this point. <laughs> Those half-off Wednesdays, mm, I'm there. Half-off Wednesdays. Do you go for tickets or do you just go to play? Uh, I want to start going for tickets because I want that giant Pikachu. Oh, um, <laughs> half-off <laughs> Wednesdays is best for that. Yeah, yeah. Um, but I mainly go just to play that uh, that Pump It Up dance game with my brother's <laughs> girlfriend. And we're nice. trying to go pro, so we'll see nice. how it goes. I think we're on like level... Um, like the second level, I think it's in letters or something. I don't remember how it works, but we're on like level four. It's, we're on level four right now, I think. Nice. So. I don't. I don't even know if I could pass the baby levels. Yeah. Yeah. It starts off at level two. There's like some three. Um. Yeah. But I think you can bring like a USB too and like open up the song selection and like get real <laughs> intense. So we'll see. We'll see that's, where it goes. That's pretty intense. That's rough. Yeah. We went to um, my on Friday. My my boss. I don't know if you guys checked my Snapchat. Mm -hmm. um, I went to a concert. My boss oh, yeah. had an extra uh, Dave Matthews Band ticket. Oh my gosh. She lost her date, nice. so she told me if I wanted to go. Um, so I said fine, and we were at the concert. It was cool, but I couldn't pay any attention to the concert. Oh no, Paul, 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 uh, Paul. <laughs> the uh, the amphitheater uh, in West Palm Beach, where we were at, is a pretty known place. That hall, that is a Pokemon gym, oh, no. and it was taken by somebody from Team Instinct. So I couldn't, like, oh, yeah. I couldn't just sit there and, like, you know, not do anything. About Absolutely, it. I had to no. go try to fight it. Um, like a true valor. I missed, like, you know? I, I missed a lot of the concert. I was just kind of trying to <laughs> trying to beat their Pokemon. I couldn't, but I tried because <laughs> Valor. But we'll we'll talk about it. Valiant effort, yeah. Paul. <laughs> <laughs> There's, there's a few more Pokemon Go stories that I want to go over, but um, let's go over the top ten. Should we introduce ourselves? Is that pointless at this point, or should we? Meh, yeah, we should we still just do that. I'm still, I'm still Paul, editor in chief. Uh, Evan, who are you? Uh, I, I'm an editor. I write a lot of articles and stuff. Laura, who are you? I am also an editor, and I write articles as well. <laughs> <laughs> Janet, who are you? Uh, weekly writer. Yeah. Number one. That's, that's really good. Oh. Um, I was gonna. I had a. I had a sound effect for Janet, but then I lost it. Oh no. It was like Janet Jackson. That was a really cool. Oh, that was perfect. I'm glad it wasn't I, I, uh, Rocky Horror Picture Show. Yeah. No, that immediately came to my mind. <laughs> oh really? Oh, I gotta find that oh, next time. Oh no, no, I'm sorry. <laughs> it's okay. This is my life. <laughs> Okay, let's go over the top 10 before we talk about Pokemon Go later on. What's the top 10? Not this week, more like two weeks ago, but whatever. Who's nobody? Nobody notices. Uh, Laura, well, I know this now. This is Evan I and know. I. Yeah, and uh, Peter too, right? Yeah. yeah. Well. This was a right. tough list. Yeah, it was really hard. I didn't realize what? how many games wouldn't be, like, aren't really near the ocean. <laughs> <laughs> what's what's the name of the top 10? Um, it is called Top 10 Ocean-Based Games. This was your idea, right? Yes. This was all you? Oh, yeah. Why did, why did you want to do this? Um, mostly because Bioshock. I... Yeah, Bioshock, that. And uh, mostly because I, I moved to uh, towards the ocean. Like, that's the reason... One of the reasons I moved to San Francisco was because I wanted to be near the ocean when you're, like, landlocked Midwest. I, terrible. <laughs> Um, so, and when I was younger, like, one of my favorite games on GameCube was Super Mario Sunshine. So, yes. come on. So I was like, oh, I know, all, I used to play all these games in Full of the Ocean. I was like, wait, <laughs> no, I didn't. I only played that one. <laughs> <laughs> I, 
And I'm happy that Janet's here because now we can mm -hmm. explain Bioshock to her. Yes. Yeah. Oh my God. Yes. That later on, I'm not. I'm. I'm not saying what number it is. <laughs> that's a spoiler. Did, did anybody say it yet? No. Mm -hmm. No. No. So I'm gonna have to edit it out. Okay. Good. Uh, let's start. Oh, and now I can actually use my soundboard, my my new yeah. sound effects for number number ten. Number ten. All right. <laughs> Endless ocean. Um, yeah, I don't, I, I don't have, I don't, I couldn't find anything. I don't, I don't know what this is. Evan, you wrote it, so I'm assuming you have something to say. Yeah, that's what we were all assuming. Um, <laughs> oh, God. We, I can move on. Well, we can move on, Evan. That's, uh... <laughs> we can, this is like... Basically, what it is, is just, um, you play as a scuba diver, uh, who mm -hmm. works for, like, a scientist, and, uh, I guess a marine biologist would be the proper term. Mm -hmm. And you swim around the ocean, and you discover new places, and yeah, that's about it. I found this on the fact. <laughs> I guess that'll fit most of them, especially number four. Oh, yeah. Um, that's good enough, Evan. That's good. <laughs> Pretty much what I said in in the top ten was playing on this ocean is like watching it on YouTube, and that's that's about yeah as accurate and truthful as I was in this entire article. <laughs> number nine. Did this. Oh, Peter Kelly Slater's this Pro game. Surfer. Yeah, Peter wrote it. He I've said it was pretty it. awesome. I haven't played it either. <laughs> but, but, but Peter liked it. <laughs> That's good. Um, yeah. Peter's pretty I, cool, so. <laughs> yeah, it's like, I don't really, like, I don't know. I've never played um, Kelly Slater. It, it, he did talk about Tony Hawk's Pro Skater in it, which I recently played. So, there's that. <laughs> awesome. Eight. That's number eight. <laughs> Hydra Thunder. Yeah, that one. That sounds I, exciting. I Pretty sure everybody played that one in an arcade at some point in their life. Probably. Yeah. That one bit more. I played uh, the next game more than this, but if you want to explain it a little bit, and then we can move on. I still no sound effects. The all of this is just it's just imagine like water or just in the like listening like, into a seashell. Yeah, um, like bubbles and then like dolphins in the background. That's, that's, the, <laughs> that's the best that I can do. I'm sorry. Uh, Peter had it for the N64, and they came out with a sequel for the th Xbox 360, I think. But I only ever. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Xbox yeah. Live. Yeah. Yeah, I only ever played it in arcades. It was awesome. It was like this uh, big yellow banana-looking arcade booth, and mm -hmm. uh, I think. Correct me if I'm wrong. Did anybody play it on arcade? It's been a while. I might have. I think they used to have like little fans in the front that would like blow on your face as you were playing, <laughs> so it made it feel like you're actually in these like jet skis. <laughs> that's oh, that's cool. But uh, yeah, cool but they were pretty. It was a pretty cool game. I mean, you know, it's it's all like jet skis and, uh, <laughs> and, and racing. Would just yeah. throw buckets of water at you. Yeah, yeah. They would <laughs> just stand behind you. Yeah, that's about Number... it. Uh, yeah. yeah. Hold on, hold on, number... Damn it. Okay, here it is. Seven. Okay, number seven. Wave Race 64. Peter. Yeah, I finally I have a sound effect. It's not much, <laughs> but... Here. Wave Race! <laughs> Select your watercraft, please. That's it. That's all there is. That's all I got. You know still not, there's still not a lot, but something. It looks like, um... Jet Moto. It looks like yeah. Diddy Kong Racing. Yeah. It looks like every racer on the N64. Yeah, basically. Was Jet Moto on the N64? No, that was a That was a PS1, game. I know. Mm -hmm. I love Jet Moto. Mm -hmm. But I'm just saying, yeah. like, these, this, uh, the images look like Jet Moto. Mm -hmm. I play a little bit. I mean, it's... Uh, there's nothing to say. It's just... It's wave racing. Look at it. Look. Um, here. Listen to this. Like there's not much. you can ride a dolphin. That's why I thought of this too. You can ride a dolphin. <laughs> uh, if you I forgot what you had to do exactly, but one one of the like the secrets in the game is you get to ride a dolphin, that's and awesome. that's as good as you're gonna really get as far as an explanation <laughs> for <laughs> wave race. Um, <laughs> I think we can go to number six. Number I think six. we can just keep it going. Um, hold on. Six. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Number six was Abzu, which is. Mm -hmm. Similar, I want to say, to Endless Ocean, but it um, it won Best of E3, I believe, in 2016, so this year. Nice. Um, 
Yeah, it, they had a little showcase uh, in, like, the hall or whatever, and, uh, like, there was a huge line for people wanting to play it. Um, but basically, it's like a, it's a, it's, it's an exploration game. Um, you know, it's kind of, it's an exploration game in the deep ocean. You see all these beautiful, like, creatures and stuff, and when I played, um, I got, uh, what's that ocean one I just did a review on? <laughs> mm. Oh, oh, uh, um. Oh, um, uh, Song of the Deep. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. I was oh my god. Say Song of the South. But... <laughs> I was That'd be say none quite of those different. Yeah. yeah. No, anyway, so it uh, Song of the Deep reminded me a little bit of it just from how like colorful and like beautiful it was as well. So yeah. Nice. Is this one of the reasons that you wanted to do the top ten as well? Me. <laughs> Probably. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Number five. No wait. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> All right, number five, I think, was Laura again. Yeah, it was Super Mario Sunshine. I have a clip. I have a clip. Yes. Welcome to the Sun Prince Tropical Paradise of Isle Delfino. We're so pleased to welcome you to our beautiful home. <laughs> enjoy a natural wonderland to which we've added the world's finest resort facilities, a spectacular amusement park, and succulent seafood. All this and more await you on Isle Delfino. Come relax and let us refresh your body and spirit. <laughs> And you see Shadow Mario in the background. Mm -hmm. that, if you play the game, you know he's the one who causes all the trouble. Yeah. And that's how the game starts. But basically. Go ahead. Yeah, yeah, so basically, Mario is framed for turning these beautiful <coughs> islands and all its towns into like a sludgy, a paint sludgy mess. And so he is tasked with cleaning up the entire island and other islands and that, are, that surround it um, with this water gun thing that can like talk to you it, i don't know it's your flood. sidekick yeah flood so it's your sidekick and it helps you clean up um helps you clean up all the islands and also helps you discover who framed mario and while yeah. doing it you get to go into like these different little worlds through the paint um or through like two or the pipes and all that and uh each each one has like a different level some of them are like real serious and the other ones are like really funny and like like one of them is like a watermelon contest or something <laughs> yeah yeah yeah, um, based on my childhood summed up. <laughs> Evan, did you play this? I have not played Super Mario. Oh sometimes. my gosh, <laughs> Janet, you played but, it, of course. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Janet. Didn't. But I do <laughs> love Mario, so all. Well, Laura's okay, but the other two haters <laughs> <laughs> don't have anything to give me crap for. <laughs> <laughs> um, I love this game. It was I. I really liked playing it, but I, I remember at the time I was kind of disappointed mm -hmm. that we went from mario 64 to this yeah. because they added a new like i guess i thought of it as a gimmick at the time the flood <laughs> which was interesting but i, I thought it kind of slowed things down so okay. my favorite parts of the game were like some some levels oh the annoying they, levels they, oh like my the god little yeah. spinning platforms and things or the shapes well yeah where they, yeah. they took they took the water uh, jet back out so they took flood out, and then it was like no i liked it because that was like back to mario yeah. to pure mario platform yeah and him yeah, but it was so no, hard. It was. It was like, really so easy. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah, I think this game was, like, one of the most underrated games ever, even though I think it's it's gained popularity since it came out, but, like, mm -hmm. it's so good. It's, like, so similar to Mario 64 in, the in like, the, like, hub world that you can explore, but explore yeah. more than the hub world, quote-unquote yeah. hub world, in um, Mario 64. And then, like, really my the only thing I didn't like about this game was... Um, so Flood comes with, like, different nozzles, mm -hmm. but, like, to change nozzles, you had to go, like, find the nozzle, and then once you put oh, it on, yeah. you had to, like, you, you couldn't have, like, all the nozzles, like, at once, um, which I, I get why they did it, because they didn't want you just, like, one, like, one propels you, like, all high in the sky, so I guess yeah. they didn't want you, like, kind of cheating the levels, but, like, mm -hmm. I would just prefer to have, like, because I really just kept regular Flood, because, like, the other ones, they were good for what they were good for, yeah. but they were, like, annoying to, like, have, have to, to go, go get, in. yeah, yeah. Um, yeah, but yeah, great game, very underrated game, I think. Yeah, I don't think there's much else to say. Evan, you haven't played it at all, right? Right. You probably should. I mean, yeah. it's... You know, <laughs> is, it, just... is it expensive to buy? I don't, I don't know. I think, I, it's, still... I think a lot of the... Yeah. I know a lot of the GameCube games are not cheap in price. Right. They've stayed at the 60 to $100 yeah. range. Yeah, I spent so a lot to buy Skies there. of Arcadia. Yeah, you might have to find someone to borrow it, basically. 
I would lend you my copy, but you're like, pretty way far away. Same yeah. thing. Same thing. I bought it off eBay for like I want to say like thirty dollars. There's one right now I, I for twenty two fifty. There's I'll, one on eBay for twenty two fifty. Okay, I'll take uh, a look at that. I, nev- I never had a I never had a GameCube. I always what? had you know, <laughs> my PS two. Okay, I get uh, that. I I do have a Wii, and so I've been going back and every so often getting. Like, I got Skies of Arcadia, and I got nice. another game that I don't remember the name of, but it looked kind of cool. Yeah. Definitely play it. Um, uh, it's I hated it at the time, at, at first, but then I played it, and it's awesome. Like, they tr- it tries a lot of things mm-hmm. they, you know, that they didn't do before in Mario, and they haven't done since. <laughs> um, like, that <laughs> that jetpack is just completely... It's like, it makes the gameplay completely different. Yeah. Um... Like it makes the boss fights a lot cooler. Mm-hmm. There's there was one boss I forgot its name, but it was the like the squid that you see. In oh, the I morning. love oh, the squid! Blooper, the giant off. blooper. Yeah, you pull off. But its that stuff. it was it was brutal because you have to like pull its arms out. To yeah, tell it. yeah. Like, you, you take all of its arms out. It yeah, it's super hard. Kind yeah. of like kind of way too brutal for, yeah. for a GameCube game. And then you <laughs> spray in the face to like. Yep. Then you yeah it, yeah it gets crazy. Yeah. You have to jump on its tentacles and flatten it out basically like. I really like, like I the uh, piranha plant that you have to fill with water. Oh, then, yeah. Which spoilers for, like, anyone who didn't pay, face the boss yet, but it's an early, so early like boss. Me. Yeah. But, like, I mean, you were going to figure fine. it out. It's like, it was really <laughs> obvious. Um, but, yeah, I loved it. Yeah. Right. yeah. And then uh, they they brought that flood into Smash Brothers, where now it's, like, part of Mario's, like, really? main set of moves. Yeah, I think it's his forward a beat. Shit. Oh, yeah, yeah, you're right. Yeah. It used to be... I think it used to be Escape, which I really liked, Perfect. but now it's The Flood, which is alright, it's fine. Yeah. Number four... Number four is... Like, <laughs> Soma. <laughs> I have a clip of Soma. No, well, not of Soma, somebody playing Soma. <laughs> What's up, everybody? H2O Delirious here, and I'm playing Soma! And I hope you enjoy this video, because... That's it, that's I- all I got. Oh I just God. loved the way he said Soma. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I think we reviewed Soma, right? Somebody did. Yeah, I think I think Zach might have done that long time ago. Oh, right, right, right. Yeah, I think I got him a, a, a copy for that. Has, has he played it? Yes, uh, on Steam. Is it a horror game? Mm-hmm. It's, What's it about? It's kind of like similar style as like uh, an amnesia, but mm. you're involved in like a terrible accident. Um and you wake up and it's like the end of the world uh so you're in like this um underwater setting that's like the last bastion of humanity but like everything's dead and there's like terrifying artificial intelligence that's like terrorizing the place but there's some twisties that go along with the story so it may not yeah i'm not going to spoil anything but it just may not be what you think it is. Sure. All right. I, I don't know anything about it, so we can move on if any, <laughs> anybody else wants to It's a to really play neat idea. Talk about it. And horror games in water, for some people, not me, um, yeah. but I had a friend who was terrified of anything in water. Yeah. And uh, actually, I noted that in the, in, the, in the little blurb about Soma. But he, well, would, he wouldn't even touch a game, a horror game in particular. If, I'm not, if it uh, had water. That's a, a pretty common fear. I'm, I'm not afraid of being underwater, but here's a, a pretty big fear that I have. It's probably like number three or four. Yeah. <laughs> um, being being like in the ocean and then seeing like a huge anything come out of the water like oh a whale. Oh, my God. Mm-hmm. Like knowing that you're like right next to it, even though it's not going to want to do anything to you probably, right. but just like the size of it and then the sound of it. I don't know if you guys remember in, in Castaway, yeah. like near the end of the movie before he gets uh, rescued, he's just like he's so he like he's been in the like, in the ocean for a while and he's like used to uh, whales just popping out of the water mm-hmm. and I thought that was like super frightening mm-hmm. and there was like, a pretty memorable scene at the end where uh, a ship like pulls up behind them but he just thinks it's a whale so he's not even like looking. <laughs> um, but but yeah, whales coming out of the water. Like I've seen clips on YouTube, and to me, that's just is horrifying. Um, it's terrifying. It's probably like number one. Uh, my biggest fear is probably going blind. Oh number God. two is like aliens. Even though I don't really believe in that stuff. Yeah. Just the concept of like being abducted. Like if I like that's been that's 
been my thing since I was a kid. And Dang. then number three is probably then. <laughs> Can you go through the whole top ten at one point? <laughs> top ten yeah. of Paul's fears? Right. Yeah. <laughs> um, oh, man. You know what's funny? Like, I don't believe in any of that stuff. Like, any of the supernatural stuff, Bigfoot, ghosts, whales. aliens. Wait, people are afraid of Bigfoot? I, I believe in whales. <laughs> um, I don't believe in any of that stuff, but it's like, it still gets me. If I see it, anything, like, on YouTube or on TV, and it's, like, caught on tape, like, I gotta watch it. Like, it gets to me. Like, I cannot see it. Um, and then, and then I'm like, I can't sleep. But Aww. I don't believe in it, but it still scares me. Aww. Yeah. I get that. It's just highly imaginative. Number three. Three. Sorry. Uh, that would be Echo the Dolphin. <laughs> nice. Who wrote about this? Peter oh, wrote about yeah, this. Peter this did. is a game that I hated as a kid. Oh no! Really? Yeah. <laughs> I never. I never got it. Yeah, I had it doesn't Genesis, make any sense. Is... <laughs> I know. I didn't. What do you it do? Didn't me. <laughs> it's like Sonic, but in the water. No, but what? it's like it's like <laughs> it's like Sonic, but without any place to go except for like yeah. up and down and in and out yeah. <laughs> Ex- the, and like the backstory is pretty wicked like echo with the dolphin is just like the savior of the galaxy like he's saving the planet somehow <laughs> um, swimming yeah nice. uh, there's not a lot to say about these either it's just a it's just a dolphin yeah. and you just swim around uh uh attack other fish every now and then collect items and that's it. And then you move on to the next level. Yeah. There's there's not a lot to it. Like they a- they had a, a remake on the on the Dreamcast, mm-hmm. and then that was cool. And that's it. Yeah. Like all I know about it, like I've never played it because I didn't have a Sega growing up. Um, but I like I mentioned this list to my brother, and he's like, um, oh, that's got to be on that list for sure. Um, and yeah. when he didn't see it at first, he's like, where is it? No. <laughs> and he's like, why is it so high? Because it's not that good of a game, you know, in his opinion. But. Um, <laughs> <laughs> yep. Um, but I heard it has like a super intense like cult following. Um, yeah. So that's cool, I guess. Like you know, if you vibe with with this dolphin, that's chill. But yeah. <laughs> number two. Ooh, number two. Yeah. <laughs> nice. All right. Two is the Legend of Zelda: Wind Waker. Everyone's played this, right? Yeah. We've all played it. Yeah. I have. We don't have to shame anybody. It right? came with my Wii U. I didn't finish nice. it. I only played a little bit of it. So yeah, I don't think I didn't finish bit. it either. It's okay. <laughs> oh, I didn't finish it either, but why didn't no one finish? It? I want. I well, I don't know. I didn't play I didn't, last Zelda. I didn't up, finish so. it. It was my it was my neighbors. So by the time like I was like slowly playing through it, and they were like, "Can we have it back yet?" I'm like, "No." <laughs> Eventually, I just had to give it back. <laughs> so <laughs> I didn't rough. finish it because it's on my Wii U. <laughs> yeah, my boyfriend won't stop talking oh. about Wii U. He's like super determined on getting one and we're moving in a couple of weeks and have to give like a bunch of money to people and he's like i'm gonna do it i'm gonna buy it i'm like we don't have money for this <laughs> so what does he want it for he just wants it he's a technophile i mean we have I mean, like six yeah. consoles already like <laughs> well i i definitely understand that it's gonna price drop soon though so if you yeah will you wait and then get it because, like, right. I, I think it's totally worth. It's a, I think it's a very underrated console. I think it has some yeah. stuff going for it. But I say when the NX probably, and when they right. try start to push the NX more, we'll probably get the Wii U when it drops. Yeah, that makes the most yeah. sense. But anyway, I don't think it's un- it's not really underrated. It's just no, it's just not selling. That's mm-hmm. it. It's just there's a lot of there's well, there's a couple of really good games on it, and then that's it. Yeah, like, you buy a mm-hmm. you with every generation, you buy an Nintendo a Nintendo console. Just for its games, and yeah. like that's it. Um, like I, I really wanted then, it for Splatoon too, though. God, I love Splatoon. Nice, <laughs> yeah, Splatoon's a lot of fun. I got it for Xenoblade like, Chronicles. Nice. Two. Yeah, there's for that. Max. There's Smash Bros. Mm-hmm. is worth it. Yeah. Oh, um, Mario Kart think, Eight, beautiful. But right, yeah. so Ooh. Wind Waker. <laughs> <Yes, laughs> but yeah, it's, it's the cool system. <laughs> yeah, that's one of the remakes on the mm. on the Wii U. Yeah. Nice. Which honestly, I thought uh, Wind Waker was one of the few games that I thought. It, it didn't need a remake because the way like the art style in that game mm-hmm. it, it's gonna look beautiful forever it's yeah. gonna look like a cartoon um and i kind of wish they hadn't done that but yeah um and again i guess it's it's an ocean based game because hyrule is no longer just like a grass like a field of grass now mm-hmm. it's just all underwater and yeah. it's just all ocean it's like it's actually kind of um i don't know like uh, what would you call this? Like, if the world ends and then, like, this is what it is now. It's like, Hyrule got uh, 
sunk underwater. It's like hundreds of years later, and this is what it is. It's like like Waterworld starring Kevin Costner. Yeah, kind of. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah kind of like like Waterworld. Oh, yeah. Um, but yeah, it's probably like some people think it's the best Zelda game out wow. of all of them, and it's pretty close. I think it's probably number two or three in my opinion. Mm -hmm. It's pretty up there. It's awesome. Maybe because I played it so late. And I, I, it's not that I don't like it. It's just that I didn't think it was awesome. It's a lot better than Twilight Princess. Sure. Might put them on the same level. Uh -huh. Uh I mean, my favorite Zelda is A Link to the Past. Yeah. Really? Oh, Super Nintendo. Yeah, that okay. was an yeah, old was really one. Good. Yeah. Yeah, yeah no, yeah. A Link Between <laughs> Worlds wasn't bad. Mm -hmm. But A Link to the Past was my favorite. Nice. Yeah, Link to the Past is like the kind of old one. The, the yeah. first Zelda, that's the old one. Yeah. yeah that one's from the 80s. Yeah. Um, yeah. Um, but I thought Wind Waker was, what was kind of cool about it, at least when it came out, I remember everyone freaking out about like how Link looked and how the art was, and everyone like yeah. was losing their mind. They're like, this looks terrible. And they're like, <laughs> it was just getting torn apart. And then it came out, and everyone's like, this is actually great. I should not have yeah. doubted you. Um, and oh. I thought that was, that's what was really cool about it. Um, it was one of the first Zelda games I ever touched, actually. I think it was the first game I ever played from Zelda. Um, I didn't play it the whole way through, though. But, um, yeah, and I think I, I like that the GameCube did that a lot with, like, risks with their franchises. Um, we saw it with Zelda. We saw it again with um, Super Mario Sunshine. So, yeah. Um, Metroid. Yeah, I think it, yeah, exactly. I think it helps make it a, a standout system Yeah, um, yeah. a lot. Yeah. Yeah, and the the reason for that, the reason a lot of people hated Wind Waker, well, they hated it. They hated the announcement. They hated that what it looked like. But once they played it, it was like the greatest thing ever. Mm -hmm. But because after uh, Ocarina of Time, uh, I think in like two thousand one, when when they first showed the GameCube, they had a demo of um, Link fighting Ganondorf, and mm -hmm. it just looked super realistic. And people assumed, like, this is awesome. This is what the next Zelda's going to look like. Oh, no. Um, but then, <laughs> three years later, this is what they got. And this is not what they wanted or what they expected. It's just, yeah. like, a cartoon link with, like, big cat eyes. It's like, <laughs> it was it was really weird. I remember at the time, it was really weird. Yeah. Um, yeah. And I also felt kind of iffy about it. When you first look at him, it's like, it looks super weird. Yeah, but... definitely. Oh, I, so cute. I like the art style, but I think I really don't like Toon Link. Mm. He looks like he was dropped on his head a couple times. Oh, yeah. He looks. I feel like he looks. He reminds me of like the chibi art style a little bit. Yeah, he's really cute. So I'm like, oh, he's cute. But yeah. when he first came out, I was like, that's weird. Even yeah. though, like I was like, this is strange. Um, <laughs> For sure. But yeah, I think he looks cute. But that's fine. <laughs> Number one. Yeah. Oh yeah. Number one. <laughs> Finally. Yay! All right, what's number one? Number one's Bioshock. God, such a good game. Oh, All right, so let's good. Ask, uh, I know. Oh, and it's coming out ask. remastered? Ooh. <laughs> yeah, ooh. I know. I'm excited. Looks, um, so good. Where do we start? Uh, Janet, Janet, let's start with you. Yeah, so um. Bioshock uh, is, this is classic, you know. Like, everyone's mm -hmm. played this game. Um, <laughs> and Laura, I'm going to let you take it from there. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> it's funny because Janet is like, well, like, last time you were on the chat, you were like, it, like Bioshock, what is what is the Bioshock? I still don't know you what, Bi I don't know what the Bioshock is. Like, when I saw on this list, I was like, I thought, my brother doesn't know either. He's like, <laughs> the oh, this, was, was, this was an ocean yeah. game? Mm -hmm. I was like, I don't know. I'm like, I always thought it was like, okay, I'm going to confess something here. I always mm -hmm. thought it was like a shooter <laughs> or something. Because I mean, that's what it I looked mean, like. I mean, technically it is a shooter. Yeah, yeah I'm like, is this shooter. is like a FPS, right? Like a bro, like, uh, you know, I'm like, whatever. <laughs> and then apparently no, it it's other things. Shooter. Yeah, but like, a, it's like more dynamic than I thought it oh, was. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Apparently. Oh, yeah. Um, oh, yeah. Yes. But yeah, so Laura can explain. <laughs> you need to... Um, Janet, you should play it and you should stream it. Like, yes. I, I, I want to see you play it. Like, it's I want to see your scary. reaction to Yeah, I'm excited. Scary, it yeah. seems interesting. Um, yeah, I'm definitely going to stream it when I yeah. get it. I'm going to get the remaster. I think. Yeah, definitely. It's going to wait a little bit. but Yeah, I'm a bit freaked out by it. Fun. I mean, when I first played it, like, <laughs> there's some parts I'm just like, oh my god, what is going mm -hmm. on? Um, <laughs> yeah. But it's so fun and the story is so interesting and, like, uh that's the best part about Fun it. Fun yeah. fact story. for... It's like Anne Rand. Mm -hmm. For the yeah, English basically. teacher, Janet, uh, it's... A lot of it is inspired by Atlas Shrugged. Yep. Yeah. Cool. Okay. Now it's two things I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you've never read Atlas Shrugged? No, I've never read Atlas Shrugged. I haven't, oh. I've lived in like a vacuum for like oh. 12 years. So yeah, but, but Atlas Shrugged is, <laughs> is very old. 
You know, I'll like just Google it, and that'll be like the same thing. Just do the Cliff Notes thing. I'll just yeah, because the book's like well, the the Spark Notes would be the Spark Notes would be about the length of a regular novel. (laughs) Oh my god, because the book is like twelve hundred pages. Yeah, my you know what I do? I'll put on. I watched the movie that reminded me of Bioshock, and I'm pretty sure I got inspirations from it, and that was Snowpiercer. Mm-hmm. I don't know if any of you guys have seen it. Uh-uh. And that's uh, Snowpiercer. Oh, you mean Snowpiercer was inspired by Bioshock? Yes. Okay. Or I guess Atlas Shrugged initially. But, right. Right. I'm just gonna um, put the audiobook of Atlas Shrugged on while I stream Bioshock, <laughs> <laughs> and that's what my channel is gonna be about. Just just streaming audiobooks. <laughs> I'm gonna play. A, I'm gonna play a clip. Mainly for Janet. This is a really cool introduction okay. to the fire. Yeah. <laughs> it's just the intro to the game. I am Andrew Ryan, and I'm here to ask you a question. Is a man not entitled to the sweat of his brow? No, says the man in Washington, it belongs to the poor. No, says the man in the Vatican, it belongs to God. (laughs) No, says the man in Moscow, it belongs to everyone. I rejected those answers. Instead, I chose something different. I chose the impossible. I chose rapture. I know it doesn't really explain a lot to you, Janet, yeah. but that's one of the best moments in the game. It's, well, it's just the beginning. Don't yeah. worry. It's mm-hmm. just the intro, the yeah. whole thing. Yeah. Like, it explains what, what everything rapture that's is going on. That, yeah. I don't, yeah, I don't even want to go into anything about Rapture because I'm like, she doesn't know anything about it. So, like, I <laughs> want you to play it and just be surprised. Yeah, um, definitely. I don't know. It's awesome. There's, I, <laughs> well, we'll play it and then we can talk about it. Right. Um, there's a reason why people talk about it so much. Like I said in mm-hmm. the chat, there's a few games, like, in every generation, there's, like, three or four max games that I'm, like, blown away by. Mm-hmm. And last generation, like, this was one of them. This is probably one of, like, the best three games that I've yeah. played on the 360 Wii and, you know, PlayStation 3 yeah. era. I think it's like, undisputed. This, this game just blew my mind. Yeah. I think it's an undisputed fact at this point that like bioshock was one of the best of that generation like it's just so good like amazing yeah and evan agrees (laughs) yep thank you (laughs) all right can we move on from this and then we can take a break and then we can talk about pokemon go yes oh my god yes because i got to pee like pretty bad so awesome um what should i play should i play like under the sea or beyond the sea or (laughs) yes okay I'll, i'll i'll play that and um Maybe Sierra might join us. We'll see. I hope so. And um, we'll talk Pokemon Go. But yeah, we'll be right back. Somewhere beyond the sea, somewhere waiting for me, my lover stands on golden sands and watches the ships that go sail. Hey everybody, hope you're enjoying the show. It's Paul here. Uh, So Sierra couldn't join the episode this week, but she will be back soon. She's just been really, really, really busy. Um, Now I wanted to let you guys know that BitCast starting with this episode, number 14, we are going to be going weekly. Uh, We were finally able to, you know, figure out how to edit the show on time and, uh, get a show out every week so if you go on bitcultures.com or if you find us on itunes or podbean or any of the other podcasting sites out there that i don't know about um yeah we'll be going live every friday with a new episode and uh yeah check out bitcultures.com there's a lot of features reviews news uh pokemon go a, a, a bunch of stuff everything uh video game related you'll find it and uh yeah back to the show
that when you said that, I immediately thought of South Park, though, because like, like I would, I just uh, finished it. Uh, I didn't realize it was that short of a game, and like I just blew through it in one night. Um, and oh, the, the stick of yeah, stick the of stick truth. of truth, and like I started it but never finished it, and then um, so I played it again. And when you get to the end where you fight like the final person. They keep coming back to life like three times. I'm like, when will this end? Like, I've been fighting for like half an hour. Like, <laughs> it needs to stop. <laughs> All right, let's talk about Pokemon Go. Yay. Sweet. Are you yes. opening yours? <laughs> <laughs> My puck. <po> yeah, <laughs> it's, it's always open. That's much like. Really? Uh, well, as much as I can before my body or my, my, my phone starts like yep. overheating. And, Mine too. And, you know, I need to go like, through my uh, Pokemon and start cannibalizing a bunch of them because I haven't I... done that lately. I'm kind of saving them in, in prospect for like the trading. Like I'm saving a couple, like, nice. you know, some high level hypnos to give away. Oh like, yeah, can I have one of those? <laughs> yeah, I got like one that's like 700 like CP. Like, what? I have that. That's yeah, pretty rad. Yeah, I found it like the other day. Okay. The, the war troll you got, do you, you want that? I, guess my brother would I so of. want that war troll. Oh my now God. I can just evolve him to a Blastoise. Uh, a Blastoise. Yeah. And I've got to wait to like do the second step. So mm -hmm. pretty sad. So on, um, this will be a, like a, a good way to start the second way to Pokemon Go, because we're we just we're just gonna talk about it. There's nothing else like to talk about really. I mean, yeah, I don't see a problem. Really, no reviews that I want to talk about. Um, oh, you guys, a Rattata just showed up. Sorry. My, <laughs> we went to see Ghostbusters, right? Mm -hmm. Which I actually thought was pretty good. It was funny. It wasn't the best movie, but it was pretty. It was funny enough. Mm -hmm. um, so after the movie, it was a, a a lot of the actual a lot of the. Big cultures crew we went to see it it was nice. eric was there uh my brother went to he he does some articles too nice. mm -hmm. um so anyway after the movie it was like 12 a.m mm -hmm. and oh kelsey was there too she, she does our social media yeah and right. we're thinking like what do you guys want to do anything i mean should we just go home we're just throwing around ideas and we're like what if we go you know catch pokemon somewhere mm -hmm. um so we're just throwing ideas around and I think it was Kelsey who said the the library, the local library here in Coral Springs, has a lot of Pokemon stops. So nice. we went there. We went to the library at like one a.m. in the morning. <laughs> so this is this is kind of one of the best examples that I have as to how this game is just kind of changing uh, the entire way that people socialize out, mm -hmm. you know, outside of their houses. Mm -hmm. um, at the library at 1 a.m. in the morning, there's about 200 people at the library. Oh my God. Um, and the reason being, there are three Pokemon stops within five feet of each other. It's like the the front of the library has three Pokemon stops. And people had lures. Yeah. Um, so it's like, when, when else are you going to see 200 people in front of a library at 1 a.m. in the morning on a Friday night? Like, that's, that's just weird. People Does are there work? just to catch Pokemon. Um <laughs> And we were talking to a lot of people, and it was like, it was awesome. It was awesome. It's, yeah. I've never seen that before. So, yeah, I guess, uh, Laura, what's... You can talk about Pokemon Go for a little bit. Yeah, um, I've but got a couple stories. Just a little stories. bit. Just a little bit. Okay. <laughs> a little bit. I get it. <laughs> not a lot. Not a lot. Yeah, um, I guess, like, I got a couple stories. My, my whole office has been, like, completely obsessed with it, like... It's adorable. We're all, like, we started this, like, Pokemon group chat on our Google Hangouts or whatever and, like, have added, like, our teams to our um, internal, like, uh, pages about, like, our About Me pages and stuff. Um, and, like, we'll go out during lunch. So they'll be like, hey, guys, there's there's an Aerodactyl outside. Like, let's go. And, like, <laughs> it's really funny because instead of taking, like, smoke breaks, like, people will take Pokemon breaks. We'll be like, hey, we're going to go <laughs> catch Pokemon. We'll be back in, like, ten minutes. <laughs> um, and it's this whole like there's a whole competitions between people too like because of the teams and like of course Team Mystic has got like more of the more of the people but um, there's a few of us on Team Valor and then some on Team Instinct and it's really funny because we'll just like talk shit to each other like when yeah I'm Team Valor I chose Team Valor that was an easy choice oh yeah too easy like, yeah. Janet what's your team Team Instinct of course okay. I was Team Blue um, Team Mystic <laughs> <laughs> Team Blue Team Blue yeah. I was the yellow team. Nice. <laughs> but yeah, Paul, what you're saying about like socializing, um, it was really funny. I was out when, I think the first week the game was out to the public, I went to the farmer's market with my boyfriend and we were just walking around outside. I was trying to hunt down a Squirtle and I couldn't find it. <laughs> like I kept running around and I basically got this one 
I got to this one part of um, Oakland, and uh, that someone put up a bunch of lures, and that, um, I'm just walking around and like looking straight down at my phone, and I look up and I see like literally 20 other people on their phones, like staring down at it, and I catch eyes with this one dude, and we both start laughing because we're looking at everyone around us, and we just start laughing because we're like, "Are you playing Pokemon?" He's like, "Yeah." He's like, "Oh, there's a Tauros over that way." I'm like, "Really?" So it was. Yeah. It, it bring it's bringing people together in a really cute way. The the I think the first day that I actually played the game, and you know, I think we can all remember the first day that it was available. It was yeah. just super confusing. Yeah. Because mm-hmm. the game doesn't tell you anything. Yeah. It just kind of throws you out there and just yeah. you know figure it out. Whatever. Yeah. yeah. I was um, lucky enough to get so, the beta, but. Like. <laughs> oh yeah. So like I guess the game was available like late at night one day and then mm-hmm. the next day I was at work and um, we were closing up I was just me and another co-worker and she was on the phone helping a client so so I was I was waiting waiting for her to finish so I saw that it, there was a site there outside of like oh right God. where I work which was like I don't think this is normal like I think this is rare this is the first mm-hmm. time I'm playing the game mm-hmm. I don't know how to do anything I don't know how I'm supposed to catch it or how to mm-hmm. find it and I guess my phone was having like AR problems, so it wasn't really detecting it. So I was like walking around thinking that I was like eventually it was gonna pop up on my on my screen. So I'm just walking around by the the parking lot and then my coworker she gets out and she kinda she yells at me. She's like, What are you doing? And I told her, I'm just I'm trying to find this scyther that's around here. She doesn't know anything about Pokemon <laughs> let alone Pokemon Go. She's like, What is that? And then I showed her the picture and she's like Oh, that's cool. Like, so, and then I'm explaining the game to her. And then once she knows how it works, she's super into it. So now she's with me. Like, we were both (laughs) kind of walking around the parking lot. Um, We were, like, next to a McDonald's that's Mm -hmm. right next to where we work. Just walking around like like idiots, just kind of, like, (laughs) trying to find it. And she's, like, is it, like, she's trying to get it to work because she's, like, really wants me to catch it. (laughs) And um, so we're, like, just walking around. And then we're right next to a car. And then the the window rolls down, and then this guy pops out, and then he's like, "Are you guys playing Pokemon Go?" <laughs> and I said, "Yeah." There's a site there, and he's like, "Oh shit, let me get like let me get my phone." I'm like I don't know where. Like the guy was just sitting in his car, waiting for somebody. I don't know, but he just rolls his window down, and he's like, "Like he he knew what we were doing." Mm-hmm. So it was like insane. Like this yeah. is like a social experiment. Yeah. Um, and there was that um. A video came out like a week ago in um in new york um central park and there was like hundreds of people like probably a thousand people running in central park and it was because of a vaporian <laughs> right and um traffic stopped everyone got out of their cars because there's a vaporian mm-hmm. and vaporian is not even that rare it's kind of rare but it's not like it's just the yeah. Vaporeon. Yeah. And people are people are acting this way because they, they want to catch a Vaporeon. Central Park stopped. They all got out of their cars. Traffic is, like, not moving because of a Vaporeon. So, <laughs> and then, like, the, whoever posted that video, somebody tweeted it and then said, remember when the game was, like, teased for the first time? They, they showed the trailer mm-hmm. when, when um, people were trying to catch Me Too. And people said, that is stupid. Like, nobody's ever going to do that. Like... Hundreds of people are never going to act that way and, like, work together for a cause. And, like, look, they're doing it for a Vaporeon. And, yeah. like, that's, like I said, that's just a Vaporeon. Yeah. So imagine, at any moment, they said, okay, here, here, here in the world, there's, like, 20 locations in the world. Mm-hmm. There's a meet you there. Go get it. Like, people are going to, like, lose their minds. People yeah. are going to get out of work. Like, people are going to get out of school it's gonna be like madness once Me Too is available for oh my like God, an yeah. hour. Like, in, imagine like two cities in your state where you live, and there's a Me Too there. Yeah, it better be San like, Francisco. <laughs> like you're Niantic like, is here. Insane. It's yeah. like it's insane. I can't even like I can't even describe it to people who don't know yeah. what is, what's happening, right? Yeah. And uh, one last thing, I was talking to my boss who doesn't know anything about this either, and mm-hmm. I told her. There's like close to 800 Pokemon now. Mm-hmm. The game, the the first generation had 151. There's only like 140 available yep. around there. So imagine like at any moment, like if interest goes down by like just a tiny bit, then they can say, okay, like push a button, 
here's Gen 2 Pokemon are available now. And, like, the world will go crazy again. Like, yeah. they can do this for five years. Like, they're never going <laughs> to yeah. run out of things. Oh, like, God, to, no. to just, It's like, and then they can just introduce Shinies. Or yeah. just, they can just oh, my God. Oh, my God, Shinies. Not <laughs> tell anybody. Imagine nope. if they just put them out there and not tell people. Yeah. Somebody, like, catches a Shiny, takes a picture. It's on, like, on Twitter. Nobody believes them because it's oh, only, no. like, it's so rare to catch. Like, it's insane. Like, I'm losing yeah. my mind with this game. <laughs> yeah. So. No, the only thing Janet, I, you you oh, wrote a thing about this. I want you to. I want to hear oh, what you. Oh yeah, what you had I to wrote. Say. I think two things about this. Yeah, so I did a, a starter's guide and I did a running guide. Nice. Um, because I love Pokemon Go because it's awesome. Um, but yeah, I don't know. I don't have any two crazy stories. I'm still. It's funny because everyone's like, "Oh, we're connecting with like all these people," and I'm like, "I'm not connecting with anyone. I'm an introvert." So <laughs> see ya. Like I like low key of seeing people like walking around where Laura's are and I'm like I got my headphones on so <laughs> um but I did have like a really intense moment of excitement the other day which I mentioned um on our group chat where I was we were driving back from the gym I think um and I was on my phone playing Pokemon Go because it's an easy way to get stops I have a bunch of stops nice. um because I live in Chicago mm -hmm. like like literally like there's a park um one block from my house and in that park alone which the um circumference even though that's not, that that's not the right word because not a circle but like the area around it um is less than i think it's like half a mile to a mile it's like less than a mile for sure mm -hmm. long um it's a rectangle shape and in that there are three four five six seven eight pokey stops nice, nice alone <laughs> and that's like one yeah. block from my house yeah so they're like literally everywhere yeah living in a um, city is great because there's like a million like poke stops everywhere yeah, it's and so it's always, it's, I, I feel like it's nice because, like, um, obviously there's a lot of privileges for living in a city, yeah. but most people are just like, oh, it's like, I don't know, I'd miss this space, and, like, you pay high taxes, and I'm like, well, wow, now I got Pokemon, so in your face, yeah. like, it's great. <laughs> um, it's, it, it's pretty awesome um, to flaunt my, my privilege over everyone. Um, <laughs> my brother just texted me, you need to pokey stop, thanks. <laughs> <laughs> He's, like, down the hall. Um, but, yeah, I was in the car, and I, car, um, I was looking at my phone, and usually there's, you know, the same typical Pokemon around, so, like, mm -hmm. Pidgeys. Uh, we have a lot of drowsies in Chicago. Um, and then uh, a war turtle popped up, and I was like, oh, it's a war turtle, and I, like, freaked out. And, um, and then my brother's like, what war turtle's there? And then, and then he was driving, though, so he can't play the game. Oh, no. So then he, um, I caught mine, and it took, like, a while, and then, and then I'm like, give me your phone, give me your phone, I'll, like, I'll catch one for you. And then, but it was gone, so we, had, we drove around in, like, a square <laughs> trying to catch this war turtle. But he only had a couple of balls left, and I like I, I got I caught it like three times, but it kept breaking out. And I was like, I'm sorry, I couldn't do it. Oh, and he's yeah. like, it's okay. And then, but he was like kind of upset, you know. And yeah. he's like waiting for trading to drop. And um, yeah, it's just it's been yeah. it's been great and, and crazy and super fun. Um, yeah, but I've been seeing like I don't know. It's just it's really interesting how like into the game people get, um, mm -hmm. and how it has like you know the physical component. Like I know people are like, which I I wrote an article on like running with Pokemon, but like going on like it's like oh I got a ten kilometer egg well i'm just gonna go for a run and put this on <laughs> um so it's pretty crazy um it, as for myself i've been mainly focused on um hatching eggs and like catching pokemon mm -hmm. i'm not really doing a lot of gym stuff yet uh, i'm gonna try to just get like really strong pokemon it's kind of hard because i feel like after a while like th well like a lot of the gyms by like around me or everyone's like a thousand cp so mm -hmm. i'm kind of waiting to, to like get on that level but then like they get stronger so it's yeah. kind of like forever a struggle but yeah uh, but yeah i've been having just a good time trying to catch everything i can't wait for training to come out um especially because like i love how every region kind of has its own like i roll pokemon so like for me i have all these drowsies and oh then like God. for someone else maybe they have a lot of like something else mm -hmm. so yeah. um so i'm looking forward to like that being able to like all come together yeah for us to like you know roll the poke universe but, yeah um <laughs> yeah it's been super super fun Laura, I think you were going to say something. Oh god, I have like before. 10 million things I want to say about Pokemon. <laughs> like, I've been playing it constantly for like three weeks now. Um, but yeah, I, the trading is going to be really rad. Um, I'm excited for that just because like, I I wish I had a million drowsies around me, but like, um, right. I think, yeah, I'm trying to think the ones I that wanna, we like, have. I want a Hypno, Hypno's are Yeah, oh, I can get you guys Hypno's, like I got y'all. Yeah, got that sounds fucking rad. There's too many. Like, <laughs> I don't even... Let me open up my... Like, I don't even know what I have. I have a bunch of Magikarp. My goal right now is to catch 100 Magikarp so I can get all... <laughs> like, so I can get a Gyarados. Same. Yeah, I'm working on yeah. it. Yeah. And, like, there's a ton of Pinsers around here. Like, a ton. And Ponytas. And oh, I haven't seen... See, I don't have any. See? Oh, they're everywhere here. And, like... See? There we go. Um, we can trade up. But, yeah, Pokemon Go's been... Oh, my God. I love it so much. And there, I've read somewhere that, like... um 
what they currently have isn't all the features that they want to. So alluding to being like, ooh, like, yeah, trading is one of them, but what's going to come after? So who yeah, knows? They can do so much. I know. Like, they can do anything they want. Like, yeah. I think it was like the first week after the game had come out, and it's a mm-hmm. free-to-play game. Yeah. And keep in mind, this game, like, does a really good job of, like, not needing you to pay any kind no, of money. Like, you get enough not. out of the pokey stops and leveling yeah. up. I think it had like I think it was like a ridiculous number, of, like forty-two million dollars after one week. Yeah, that is, um, that's about right. Right. So that is just one week with a game that's pretty good at not asking you to pay anything. Yeah. Yeah. So they're they're making so much money. They have the Pokemon name. They have like almost eight hundred Pokemon that they can use mm-hmm. in any way that they choose to. Mm-hmm. Like like I the the shiny thing. I know it's I again this is just speculation and then it's something that. I'm assuming they're going to do at some point. Mm-hmm. Um, or maybe, what if there are shinies, but they're so rare? Like that no one's found one yet. Found one yeah. yet. Yeah, or, or they could just introduce them. Yeah. Um, but um, it's all over the world. It's like, it's all over the news. Mm-hmm. It's like, there's like a few clips that I got uh, with people related to Pokemon Go in like the most <laughs> unexpected places that you can imagine. <laughs> like the first that I want to play, and this is like, one of my favorites. I don't watch wrestling. Um, I do. I should. I should because it's like any time that I do, it's like the best thing that I've it's ever just, seen. And I'm like, the don't stories are this? ridiculous. It's so good. Like so dumb. And they have so like they like all the wrestlers have like their own moves. Like there's some Ooh, yeah. that they use. It's like it's amazing. Are I don't you, know why I don't watch it. Is this gonna be Xavier Woods? Because I really love it. It is gonna be. Xavier yes, Woods. I met him at E3. <laughs> I gotta like get it like girlish. Oh my god, it's Xavier Woods, but. Oh my god, I'm so excited now. <laughs> Enzo Cash, do you, do you mind if we... A little... By all means, give it a shot. Thank you, thank you. Considering the fact that I am a level 21, yes, level 21 Pokemon Go trainer. <laughs> Team Valor for life. Yeah. <laughs> yes. Let's start it off like this. Charmander, how you doing? How you doing? Bulbasaur, <laughs> how you doing? Squirtle, how you doing? Arbok, how you doing? Gengar, how you doing? Caterpie, <laughs> Metapod, <laughs> Butterfree. <laughs> now we're only doing the original 150, but that means we got like 130 to wait, go. Baby. Wait, 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 wait. <laughs> so, <laughs> I gotta remember what? watching this. I remember seeing it's this. Like, it's like, it was amazing. Yeah. He, so you met a, him at E3? Yeah, he's a huge gamer. He actually has his own, like, channel and all that. And, like, it's really funny. His He streams a bunch and he, like, coerces other um, wrestlers to, like, play with him and stuff. So uh-huh. he's, yeah, so it's pretty good. He's, yeah. <laughs> so I want to, I want to, Evan, I want to ask you um, yes. why, <laughs> what happened? Like, why did <laughs> so, you, so why did you stop playing pokemon go like what what was it about it that you just didn't get or didn't like it's not that i didn't like it i i thought it was <laughs> fine my wife actually thought it was pretty cool um it's just uh data consumption mm-hmm. was bad mm-hmm. um right. yeah. i pay 10 bucks every gig of data that i use and then i get refunded oh well i get refunded any data that i don't use so if I don't use any data, I pay like twenty bucks a month. Shit. Um, wow. Yeah. So, in that situation, it's fine. But it really doesn't. As far as what I noticed, it didn't eat up that much data, and I was on Wi-Fi most of the time. That's good. Um, but like, I would try to go out, and like I said earlier, in like a three-mile radius of my house, mm-hmm. nothing. There might nice. be like a Pidgey every two miles Um, that's so yeah it's it's bad and there are no pokestops i I live in a pretty crowded (laughs) city it's it's only like uh maybe like 20 minutes from cleveland okay um you guys know Anne marie right yeah Mm -hmm. she she sent me a message when she started playing the game um i'm gonna read it to you guys she said i'm out of pokeballs and my village has one pokestop what is life (laughs) So, yeah, and I, it's not, I can imagine for some people in, in, in different locations, mm-hmm. it's like, it 
it's got to be a hassle. Well, and you can't. Yeah. You don't know the. You know, you can't experience where the other people are. Right, and, and it's like it's mm-hmm. like um. It's like, do you really want to use up all your data if you know you're not going to catch anything? Yeah. Mm. Yeah, um, that's fair. So but sad. as a as a fun side note, my friend and his family bought an abandoned school. Um, <laughs> what? Yeah, they, they yeah they bought it at auction, <laughs> and um, they've. They've been uh, every year since I I grew up with him. Every year they always had the biggest Halloween display in uh, mm-hmm. in pretty much the greater Cleveland area at their house, yes. and um, so they bought this abandoned school at auction and they turned it into a haunted school. It's called like Lessons oh. in Fear, I think. Yeah, um, that's awesome. Yeah. Yeah, it's it's really cool. Um, you should check them out on Facebook because yes. the pictures that they have are really cool. That's called Lessons in Fear. Um, you can okay. you can find it from my Facebook page. But um, since they're registered in Ohio and in the city of Perry as a haunted house, um, I think they're a Poké Stop, and I think uh, <gasps> that they all have ghost Pokemon. Yeah, in there. Oh, and they, yeah, so they cool. have they have that a whole bunch so of ghost cool. Pokemon at their um, the the school. Oh my god, uh, which is really cool. Unfortunately, it's like an hour away from where I live. Oh god. But Aww. uh but if I do go down there, I'm going to reinstall it and see what I can yes. find. Yes. Do it. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I but do yeah, have it's, a grievance. That's cool that they that they do that. Yeah. Say so I do have a grievance though with this new Pokémon update. I don't know if you guys have noticed, but for the past week or so, the Pokémon tracker has been broken and like yeah. <laughs> yeah. So and now so their solution to it was to take away the tracker in general. And so now you have no idea where the Pokemon are and they did this as a way to shut down third party servers that were like Yeah. Um which I relied on because like my engineering oh, no. friends were just like, Hey, check out these like sweet website, like we set up this like crazy IP thing and like what the fuck? <laughs> so like now I'm kinda pissed that I can't use it because I'm like I don't want to walk around in aimless in circles waiting for a Pokemon to show up. <laughs> that's what I've been doing. It's been that's fine. Pretty, like, that's pretty cool, though. Like, I like the surprise that yeah. your phone I can, vibrates yeah. and you don't know what it's going to be. Uh, I don't know. Um, it's just, it makes, for me, like, it makes it so much harder because I'm like, I don't know where these are. And, like, I, I want to, like, like track them and, like, go after them. But, like. Yeah. Yeah, I guess. So. Like, for me, what how I've been playing, um, and I'm I'm level 16 right now, going on 17. Ooh, me too. Um, I'm level 6. What up? Nice. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> well, you deleted it. So that's, that's true. That yeah, you're it. zero. I also feel like, um, yeah, it really sucks if you live in a place that isn't that populated because there's not nearly as much stuff. Um, Mm -hmm. Like, I have a friend that lives in, like, a small town in Iowa, and she has, like, three Pokestops in her town, and then there's, like, nothing. But then I'm like, well, I guess it's, like, I guess it's because you guys, like, don't pay that much in Taxes, so I guess (laughs) this is the repercussion. Um, Wait, 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 wait. what's the Chicago tax rate? Uh, I have no idea because I'm not a real person yet, so I don't know. (laughs) Okay, never um, mind. probably pretty high. I don't know. We What's your like sales a lot tax of... say? Oh, sales tax? Yeah. A little bit under 10%. Well, that's pretty, that's pretty awful. <laughs> yeah, but the lifestyle is pretty sweet, and there's Pokemon everywhere. So, nice. um, so it's that's perfect. Good. Yeah, that's I mean, good. you don't notice it when you grow up with it, so. Yeah. Um, but yeah, right, it's like probably right. 9.2 or something, yeah. Oh, high. wow. I mean, ours is, Shit. ours is 8, so it's, it's yeah, still pretty I mean, high. Yeah, yeah, it gets up there. Um, but yeah, what I've been doing, I've just been putting it on whenever I go, I happen to go out. I only did one, I've done a couple intentional things with it. Like sometimes I'll, I'll go for a run in the park to hatch my eggs and I, I run around there and then I um, open my lucky egg to get my double XP and then I hit all the stops <laughs> over and over again <laughs> until the 30 minutes is up. Um, <laughs> but I did go on a, a pokey adventure with um, my friend Maggie nice. and we like spent, we like woke up and like got breakfast at 7 30 in the morning <laughs> and then we went on the train and then we went on the bus and then we went to like lakeshore drive and we walked like like in total probably like um i don't know like three to five miles not as long as you would think because mm-hmm. we were out like all day but like we walked down the whole like lakefront path i found a haunter oh, like it was geez. awesome and i only had a few balls left i was like dang because there's no pokestops on the actual like really? running path of lakeshore drive because i don't <laughs> yeah. know there just isn't um, and then we went to Navy Pier and like hit a bunch of like there's like a bunch of stops there. Oh, I nice. like, ha- opened a lucky egg. Like I was just like yeah, we were just we just like went in <laughs> for like hours and we didn't go home until we were both like too physically tired. Oh my god, I to need to do, do anything. That. I haven't been able. Yeah. yeah, I heard there was a Charizard at Embarcadero um, in San Francisco nice. and like 
I'm just like, oh my god, I want it, and like, I have to, I have to go to Fisherman's Wharf still and like see if there's any good like Pokemon out there. Yeah, I'm trying to get these magic cards. My real goal, like, I have a couple goals in Pokemon mm-hmm. Go. One is to obviously catch them all, yes, because you know that's the lore. <laughs> and the second one is to I need to get this magic card to Garrett. I don't even care if I find a Gyarados, like that'll be yeah. dope. But I need to evolve it like from magic card. One of my friends really is, get the full experience. One of my friends <laughs> is out on the beach and like. Ocean Beach at like mm-hmm. one a.m. trying to catch a freaking Gyarados. <laughs> and I was like, "What are you doing?" And he was, he's like, "No, it's cool. I'll catch it." But sadly, he did not. Oh. Yeah, <laughs> just the belief is yeah. up here. Basically, I had a friend uh, who downloaded the app like very late uh, after it released. Like, I say, like two weeks after it released, and within mm-hmm. three days, he was level like twenty-one. Oh, wow. Yeah, he uh, he wanted to take me on one of the adventures, but I was training, and mm. uh, he goes, like, 13 miles a day. Oh, my God. That's intense. Yeah. yeah. That's, That's crazy. Yeah. I was just going to say, if anyone's had, like, um, the Pokemon Go crawls or whatever in any of your cities. Oh, yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Have you, has so. any, anyone gone on one? I haven't been no, able to go on I one. I haven't seen one. We have a 90s bar crawl coming up, though. Nice. Oh, cute. That'll be fun. Yeah, there was yeah. one in San Francisco that was like 20,000 people that RSVP'd on Facebook. I don't know oh if God. it actually... I think it happened, but I don't know how many people ended up going. Yeah, we did have a... Poke- in Chicago, we had a Pokemon Go meetup oh, at nice. Millennium Park by the Bean. Nice. Um, I didn't go because like I was kind of lazy, yeah. Yeah. to be real. <laughs> and then I'm like, oh, the game will probably break. And it did break because that was the same day they released it in... Um, What's the latest country to get it? Oh, was it the uh, UK? Like I think like Japan was one of yeah, the I think it was last Japan, country, right? Last country. Yeah, they released in Japan the same day they had it. So not only did like Chicago downtown crash the app, but then also like the app was already mm-hmm. having issues because of the Japan release. Mm-hmm. Um, so that kind of sucked. That's so I'm, I'm kind of I'm like sweet because I didn't go. So <laughs> like, it worked out. Um, and I know we're having um, Chicago's having a, a pub crawl in like a week or so i can't go because i don't have the the funds to do it mm-hmm. right now but um they're doing like a bunch of bars in wicker park and like yeah if you rsvp for it, it's 10 bucks ahead of time you get a wristband and specialty drinks they have like drinks for each team like oh yeah yeah like, they're yellow red and blue it's very cute yeah so, i've seen that um yeah that'll that should probably be fun i can't go but um it seems pretty cool yeah i feel you a couple um, of my friends went to the one out here and they were like didn't really catch much but it was pretty fun <laughs> yeah right exactly i have a clip mm-hmm. um this is Pokemon Go in politics. And you probably, you guys know what, what this is. Probably. Yeah, yeah. A lot of jobs. Jobs from building infrastructure to coding. Creating new apps. I don't know who created Pokemon Go. <laughs> but I'm trying to figure out how we get them to have Pokemon go to the polls. <laughs> Boo. <laughs> that, that sounds illegal. Yeah. That's uh, that was that was so cringy. Like, and I love I love Hillary. Like, I, I'm all for for Hillary, but like, she should not be uh, trying to jump on that Pokemon Go what, train. What Pokemon Go? Is. Yeah, like, especially yeah. when a simple just, uh, type into your phone will figure tell you who published it. I mean, uh, <laughs> they it. <laughs> like they, yeah. they they brought it up at the DNC too. I don't have a oh clip of that, but some somebody they're trying to who, they're trying to get in touch with us millennials. He <laughs> yeah. was like, Peter got so <laughs> mad when we called him a millennial. It was so I funny. Know. He's a self hating millennial. Yeah, so I'm like, why. just deal with it. There's always a few. I was like, you're my age. Shut up. You're a millennial. Like, when does that, where does that millennial <laughs> cut off at? It's um, it's pretty old. My my sister was born in '86, and she's considered a millennial. Oh, then I'm a millennial too, I suppose. Yeah. Really? Yeah, I, you I seem don't... really old. <laughs> like, I don't. Well, like Evan has his life together. Like he has. Don't like, worry, you know, Evan. It's true. He's real bills. You know. Yeah, like, I'm. I'm 28. <laughs> really? Yeah. What? Okay. Sorry. Yeah, I'm, I'm a baller. Yeah. What can I say? Oh, you're the age of my brother. Well, he, no, that's so weird. Oh yeah, we talked about this before. Okay. We did. We did. You, you're you're the though, age like... of my uh, f- first teaching class. Oh, <laughs> yeah. When I when I was student teaching, uh, they would be your age right now. Oh my god, no way. that's crazy. Yeah, way. Why? Yeah. Wait, what? How? You're what? How old are you? I'm 22. 22. So how old were you six years ago? Um, I don't want to do that math right now. You were 16. <laughs> and really? So I was 22. Oh, so you student taught me, but like metaphorically. Yes. Right. 
Thanks for that, Paul. Great sound effects. <laughs> yeah. That was really well timed, actually. Um, <laughs> now it's over. <laughs> um, yeah, it's pretty crazy. Yeah. So I don't know who it was at the DNC, but they said um, in one of the speeches, he said, put down the Pokemon Go and in November, be sure to go and vote. And I'm just like, please if they just stop. Put lore they should have just said Pokemon Go election. and vote. Yeah, that would have been yeah. better. There, there's been a lot of Pokemon Go hate Just, as well. Uh, oh, so much. In, yeah. in social media. But I noticed like that people who were saying in the past, like people who play video games need to go out and get a <laughs> life and do something. Now that they're doing that and now they're saying, this is so stupid. Why are you doing this outside? I think I noticed, I came to the, the, to the conclusion that people just want to... They're just they're just they're just angry. Like they don't they care just, what you yeah. do. They're yeah. just gonna hate it. Like yeah. they don't care if it's Pokemon or, or playing video games. Yeah. They're just like it's that whole I thing. Don't care like what you're doing, I hate it. Yeah, it's a whole thing where you're like, oh, you're like out in public and you're on your phone, like on the bus. I'm like, are you kidding me? Like and not talking to people. I'm like, are you kidding me? I see an old woman over there on her like on um with a yeah. newspaper oh, oh. and a book, like not talking to people. <laughs> like it's exactly the same thing. Like stop you it. You had a beeper. I'm sure you used a yeah. beeper all the time. <laughs> exactly. It out, check it out. Plus, like I think people don't realize that, like, like for me, like I don't want to talk to anyone. Yeah. <laughs> like. Yeah. Like, I'll talk to you guys, and that's, like, it, you know? I'm not looking to be more social, like, like, if I wasn't doing, it, and it reminds me of, um, one of my, like, a friend of a friend, like, their professor was, like, doing, um, they were, like, playing some game, I forgot, maybe Angry Birds or some type of mobile game, and mm-hmm. then, um, one of the students, like, jokingly said, like, oh, like, really, that's what you do with your time? Like, nothing better to do? And he's, like, he's, like, waiting for the bus for 20 minutes? No, I don't have nothing better to do than that. <laughs> like, it's, like, come, what am I supposed to do with this time? Yeah. Um. Yeah. Yeah. It's just, it's if been, they really... If they really want to get the millennials, uh, the Democrats should just partner with Niantic and Nintendo and say, okay, at the, at the in November at the polls, there's going to be like a specific Pokemon that they can only get here. Oh my god, yeah. And they will all yeah, go. Yeah, I would will totally all go, go and catch it. Yes. Yeah, See, but we're giving vote. you help, vote, sure. Would they vote or, or would they just go and catch Pokemon and leave? You have that's, to like the scan like, the vote sticker to like get and then, the Pokemon. Yeah, and then they'll give you I the, think, give you I the think, think oh, that might stops? be illegal. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, like the, um, <laughs> that would be like when you go to the Poke Center because GameStop has like the little, you know, the little codes and stuff mm-hmm. like that. Would you go pick it up for free? Like, oh, free yeah. like yeah. It would be like that, but like with, the, with voting. But can you do that? <laughs> Probs, probs not, but they'll, they'll figure it out. I have one more video to play, and this is the best one okay. um, out of all of them. So I was in the house and I was putting the baby down. Oh, that's so for an good. Afternoon nap, uh, when I saw my front window that there's this black dude and this Indian lady uh, standing on my grass, sort of staring at their phones and walking around. Um, and then he said something to her, and she said something to him, and then a fight broke out. I saw that there was a Pokestop outside this house. I thought it would be nice to set up a lure module um, and maybe attract some rare Pokemon, um, maybe even meet some new friends. <laughs> my homeboy who actually told me about Tinder, what's up, Ray Ray? <laughs> uh, he told me to get this like Pokemans app right here, so I went and got it, and they got these cool little characters Characters like um, dinosaurs and ducks and shit, you know. Then uh, this guy shows up and he starts calling the Pokemon by the wrong names. <laughs> I don't know, just on purpose to patronize me, making fun of me. I don't know what his deal was. Uh, he called Bulbasaur. That's Onion Turtle. Geo Dude. Punchy Rock. Meow. <laughs> that cat with the long ass arms. Ekans. Purple shit. He called Diglett. That's floor shit right there. And Doug Trio. That's three floor shit. <laughs> he needs Pikachu, but everybody knows Pikachu. Oh yeah, that's Pikachu right there. <laughs> he called Weeping Bell. Oh, that's almost a pair. Weedle. Oh, party Wiener. Bee Drill. Everybody know that's Big Dick B. Bee. Bee <laughs> don't even have dicks. It's a stinger. She just like lost it. And then this girl started screaming at me all crazy and shit. And I'm just trying to catch these party wieners. You know what I mean, man? Like this shit is funny as hell. And so I, that's when I came outside and I pulled out my phone to record the fight. Please be advised. This footage is violent in nature, so it may not be suitable for younger viewers. So <laughs> it's just, just just go watch it. You, have you guys seen this? Yeah, yes. no. yeah, yeah it's so small. funny. It's just <laughs> yeah, it's on it's on YouTube. It's called uh, Funniest Pokemon Go Interview. Big Dick B. <laughs> yeah, it's like everybody knows. Bees don't have dicks. <laughs> oh, God. Um, my favorite was uh. Party uh, wieners, bell sprout, um. almost, almost a pair. <laughs> oh yeah. <laughs> oh, Weedles funny. have completely. Uh, they're all party wieners now. Party yeah. wieners. <laughs> 
Oh, I've been letting my um, my phone name all of my Pokemon that I catch. That's been entertaining. <laughs> what? How? So since I've just let autocorrect name them. Oh, yeah. oh okay. <laughs> okay. Yeah, so that's pretty good. My latest one is a Snorlax named Snorkel. <laughs> 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 like, oh god, I'm like trying to see what my best ones are. Ugh. There's ponytails. For some reason, my Vol- my Voltorbs get weird names like Bolton and Colton. So, <laughs> ooh, my Hitmon Hitmon Chan or is it Hitmon Lee? No, Hitmon Lee got named Hormones. <laughs> Sweet. <laughs> that kind of, that's, that makes a lot of sense actually. Oh, too good. All right, should we wrap it up? Does anybody have anything else to say about Pokemon? Uh, I think I'm good. Say if you don't have it's it, awesome. download it. Yeah. Or move, <laughs> like <laughs> yeah. move. Yeah, move to a place that has more Pokemon. I once yeah, rode a bus, cool. but not a bus. I rode a train all the way from uh, my city to downtown Cleveland, mm-hmm. nice. and caught zero Pokemon. Oh, <laughs> oh no! How's that possible? I don't know. God, hate maybe Niantic just hates yeah, Ohio. That, 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 <laughs> yeah, that's it. Most people well, hate Ohio. There, yeah. Yeah, un- unrightfully yeah. so. But there were uh, there were a lot of Pokemon <laughs> in Cleveland, and I caught a lot of Zubats. That's good. Oh yeah, they're everywhere. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Like, but then when you get that gold bat, though, hey, I caught a Scyther yeah. somewhere. Just want to say, just want to say nice. that's yes. awesome. And my coworker's team village. is just all Zubats. <laughs> oh, are they? <laughs> they're all Zubats. One of, and only one is named Bruce Wayne. Like the rest of them are just Zubats. <laughs> Oh, genius name! What? <laughs> like you, who? He's obsessed. All right, let's let's wrap it up. Question okay. of the week. Oh yeah, um, I should probably find that. Evan, out. you were you, you were gonna do the favors of pulling that up. Almost opened up Windows Store. You got it. You cool. got to take your time. I got. I got it, bro. All right. It's no pressure. Uh, uh, all right. What was your favorite game of E3 2016? Oh, before you start, I no. just realized I don't have a question of the week for this week. So. <sighs> Uh, I want Janet. I want you to think of one by the by the time Evan finishes reading the questions from the last time. Okay. All right. All right. Go ahead, Evan. So, uh, do you want to say yours, Paul? I forgot. Um. Oh my my. Or do you oh, want me to read yours? Uh, favorite game of E3 2016. Well, mine was the uh, Legend of Zelda: Breath of the Wild. It was going mm-hmm. to be Resident Evil Seven until I saw Zelda the last day. So. That was my choice. <laughs> okay. Um, let's see. I said Resident Evil 7. Um, mm-hmm. Melissa chose Horizon Zero Dawn. Mm-hmm. Uh, Ryan went with Mafia 3. <laughs> Donovan uh, said Persona 5, but he was uh, pretty impressed with Breath of the Wild. Mm-hmm. Um... Joe was with Breath of the Wild. Nice. Mm-hmm. Uh, Raphael said uh, Zelda and Attack on Titan. Uh, <laughs> hold on, Brandon. Brandon <laughs> put a paragraph in here. Oh my god. <laughs> um, <laughs> Zelda, Breath of the Wild. He did say Breath of the Wild, yes. but he said Resident Evil Seven also had me interested. Okay. So, um, Peter went with Horizon Zero Dawn. Mm-hmm. Janet went with Janet went with went with Recore. And it's my favorite new one, actually. Gabby, that looks, yeah, it's pretty good. <laughs> Gabby went with Crash is going to be remastered. Ooh. Oh my, oh god. my gosh! Oh. <laughs> and Laura, Laura didn't one. answer this. <laughs> no, I I thought I did. No, I answered underneath no, one did, of them. I thought. Oh, did yeah. you? That's not yeah. true. Yeah. Uh, I answered. I I was also for Horizon Zero Dawn. Yeah, I thought you were. Yeah, okay, record looks really right. awesome too, though. Yeah, same to your game. So <laughs> here we go. <laughs> all right, Janet, did you come up with a question? Because that's all we got. I did. Oh, good. Yeah. So uh, the question of the week for this week is: What game did you love in your childhood that does that no longer holds up? Oh, oh no. that's a that's a good one. That is a good one. Thank does you. this does this mean it doesn't hold up to your your own personal opinion, or just doesn't hold up as a game? Um, like you loved it in I mean, childhood and hate it now, or you loved it in childhood but you know it's not a good game anymore. Um, 
whatever it means to you, I guess. Like for me, <laughs> it would they're kind of one and the same. Okay. Like if I don't like it now, it means it probably also isn't a good game. That's probably um, true. So yeah, so whatever that means to you, I guess. Oh my gosh, Evan, you go first. I gotta think about this. <sighs> you too. Uh, yeah. Let's go with what game that I love as a kid. Oh, I got one. There's okay, a lot Laura of... has one. Okay, go ahead, Laura. It just it just <laughs> popped into my head because I was looking at my GameCube games. Um, but the series of unfortunate event games when I was younger. I... <laughs> yeah, I know, right? So random, but I actually really, really liked playing it because it was like. I, I loved the books and, like, I wasn't a big fan of the movies. But, um, but anyways, and I remember playing it for hours and hours and just, like, loving it and just, like, being like, this is great. And I played it a few years back, like, after, like, when I got a few years back when I was a little bit older. I'm like, wow, this is it's pretty terrible. <laughs> so. Um, okay, I got one. I okay. got one. Um, it's easy if you think about the PlayStation 1, because mm-hmm. uh-huh. most of those games do not hold up, so Aww. you basically <laughs> can just pick any of them. Um, I could go with Final Fantasy VII, I was going to go with that, but I think Metal Gear Solid is what? more of a... It's, I think it's a... Yeah, I think that's that one does not hold up as well. Dang. The first um, one? Yeah, the first one. Well, I mean... Harsh. The the first one on PlayStation, there was one on the, on the NES. Right. Um, yeah, I mean, if you look at it now... Uh, like I said, anything on the PlayStation One is almost impossible to hold up. Um, the way, like the gameplay mechanics, like the the way you would aim at, at enemies, you, there was no like first person view, so mm-hmm. it was just super random. But I hate you, that first person view of Metal Gear now. I know, but like if you played the first one again, it's hard to aim at anybody. Like, oh no, no, you're absolutely right. You. But I hate the first yeah. person view now. I now, have to replay I, it to I, know for sure. Any game, the, the thing that that still holds up about Metal Gear Solid One is like the the dialogue and the story. Oh yeah, that that's it. Like it's a it's a brilliantly uh, written game with really awesome dialogue and, yeah. and, and a really good script. But the the way the characters move and like they have no facial emotions at all. Like it <laughs> exist. but but, um, but the story well, is most of the game though. Yeah. So if that part holds up, yeah, you know, I don't know. Like, I'd have to re, I'd have to, I'd have to look at it again. But yeah, it's like you, you look at it now. You like, it's like when when you kill, uh, uh, Psycho Mantis, and he's giving like this really emotional speech about his life, mm-hmm. and you, they just zoom in on his face, and it's like it's like six squares like talking. Um, <laughs> it's like it looks awful now, but again, but, that's that's all PlayStation One. But do all graphics does not really? Like, I feel like. Like saying a game doesn't hold up because of visuals is yeah. It's not like yeah. well, yeah. Sonic doesn't true, hold but up. A lot of a lot of the gameplay does not hold up. Either. Yeah, mm. to me, visuals come into play when it affects the gameplay. Like I know, right? Um, like, like I was listening to this podcast the other day, um, and they mentioned that like they thought Star Fox sixty four doesn't hold up anymore because like the polygons, like the way like the color is, <laughs> it it hurts to like play now because it doesn't look good. Because <laughs> Because it was like too advanced for its time, you know. Yeah. So now it just looks like crap. Um. So yeah, I think I think as far as visuals, I think I guess maybe if that takes you out of the story, I could see how yeah. maybe you would cite that. Because the Metal Gear is all about the story. So I guess if you like can't get into that because of the visuals. Yeah. Um. Yeah, I can begrudgingly accept that. Mm-hmm. At with the an time, asterisk. <laughs> at the time it was awesome. Like at the time it was like I was watching something that was better than a movie. I don't know yeah. how I thought that, but yeah, that's my answer. <laughs> Paul, I'm curious as to why you would say Final Fantasy VII. Um, Final Fantasy VII, the Final Fantasy VIII holds up a lot better than than VII. Oh, I, t- I definitely um, agree. And it came out a year later. Right. So VII was like in the, a weird spot in between Square Enix, well, Square Soft at the time, mm-hmm. uh, transitioning from the, the Super NES to the PlayStation 1. Um so they didn't really have they didn't have a lot of it down as to how to you know how to model a, a character to look okay like everything like there's like four separate different like character models for each character for like for Cloud and, and everyone um, it's like it's hard to play and hard to watch mm-hmm. um, again I don't I don't it doesn't make it a bad game by any means it's just that that's per- particular aspect of the game 
just mm-hmm. looks bad now and kind of mm-hmm. feels bad now. Oh. Um, especially when a game that came out next year, like the year after that, holds up pretty well, and that's Final Fantasy VIII and IX. Like, mm-hmm. 90, 98, and then 2000, respectively, so... That's... Seven's still my favorite. So oh, no, I know, I know. I was time, just, but... I was curious to hear why why you said that. Yeah, I, I... yeah, I gotta, I gotta be objective, I gotta be honest. Right, like, right. It doesn't hold up well at all. Um, let's see, or seven. Let's see, what would my pick be? Man, this is, this is a really tough one, because uh, I'm having a really tough time thinking of old games that I played. Mm-hmm. Um, I guess Pokemon. If I have to choose right now, I might I might amend it uh, when we post the question on Facebook. But I'm gonna go with the original Crash Bandicoot. Oh, wow, dang! Because Crash One had so many gameplay issues that prevented oh. me from it prevented me from beating <laughs> the game ever. Oh no! <laughs> uh, and Crash mm-hmm. Two was so much better. Crash Two definitely was better. Um, what what about Crash One was like insufficient? I, I feel like and and it's been a while since I have played the first one, right? But I, I feel Same. like you would die a lot on um, hit detection mistakes. Like you okay. you'd be like you'd like clear a jump, but still hit like a, an electrical thing, even though mm-hmm. you like didn't actually hit it. Yeah. Or your jumps, you would jump and you would either miss what you were trying to jump for, or just something, and it. They refined it more in Crash 2 and Crash 3. You know what? You know what reminded me of that? Hmm. Playing Uncharted 4. Because mm-hmm. they made you replay Crash 1. For a Oh, yeah. <laughs> um, and uh, we, we talked a lot about that. But, mm-hmm. like, it was, like, it was pretty rough to play because the first time that I had to do that in the game, I failed it. I'm like, I'm really good at games. I, I, like, I, <laughs> I played all of Crash 1. How am I failing at this? It's like, because I hadn't played it in 20 years. I was Crash 2, like, though. That was Crash 2? That was Crash 2, yeah, because they didn't have the forward-running boulder dash in uh, Crash 1. Oh, wow. I thought it was Crash 1 this whole time. It was still rough. Still pretty rough. <laughs> no, it, it, it was definitely rough. I think it might have... I, I felt like it was a little intentionally rough. Maybe. Um, but, yeah. <laughs> but, yeah, so I, I'll go with Crash 1 now. I'm going to go look at my collection, like, right after this. And <laughs> yeah, I, I might, I might yeah. change my opinion. <laughs> it's true. Janet, did you answer? No, I didn't. Um, oh, as far as Crash 1, too, um, I have to replay it. Like, I've been trying to hunt it down for, like, the last... I went to another used game store. Was it today? I, the, all the days melt together. Um, no, I did go to one today, and I looked for Crash again, and I couldn't find it. Mm. So hopefully I'll play it, and I'll let you know what I think um, as far as mechanics go. Yeah, definitely. Um, for, yeah, for me, the game that didn't hold up, um, there's probably a lot, but, like, the first one that comes to mind is Diddy Kong Racing. <laughs> Um, I love this game so much as a kid. It's on the N64, uh, for those of you who are unfamiliar. Um, and it's really cool because, like, you get to use these different, like, um, like, carts, basically. So you can have a car, you can have a plane, or you can have, like, a water kind of floaty device thing Mm -hmm. that propels you (laughs) throughout the game, I guess. Mm -hmm. Um, and I'm like, oh, yeah, this game was, like, super cool. And I bought it again for my, I I rebought an N64 because I lost my old one. And I bought that game and I thought it was going to be awesome. And then I boot it up and it's, like so painful to play because like the the controls are really bad and like you move super super slowly using anything that isn't a car but sometimes you have to use something that isn't a car so it's just it's i mean i'll probably play it a little bit just for it's kind of fun for laughs but it's definitely not a good game at (laughs) all like it does not and like even mario kart 64 like it's it's rough visually have you played control wise it's okay um but this just doesn't hold up have you played mario super nintendo mario kart yeah, oh that's, yeah. That's, like yeah. I never like played SNES? See, yeah on the Super Nintendo. No, I haven't. I only played um N sixty four of Mario Kart. Okay, so I bought that for my brother when he got uh married. I got it for him as a nice. uh, bridal shower gift. Because, um, <laughs> you know the guys never get a gift at the bridal shower. Um so uh but I had never played it as a childhood otherwise mm-hmm. as a childhood. As a child, otherwise that would have <laughs> been my choice because it is awful. Because yeah. everything is flat, like mm-hmm. you're flat, yeah. the map's flat, but the map yeah. twisties. Ooh. Like it's the like, coins you get are yeah. on the floor, like yeah, flat oh out. yeah. yeah. It's just it's 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 almost impossible to play now. <laughs> yeah, that's rough. <clears throat> I feel like visuals though can at least like if you use RGB scar or something for your like 
any I don't know if NES does it, but like SNES, you can RGB skirt mod it yeah. um, to get a better picture. Um, so that can be fixed. Like I'm playing um, this Cruising USA. I just started that, mm -hmm. um, and that's really fun. It's really painful to look at because oh, no. <laughs> of, of the graphics. You know, it's like like there's this one point where you're driving down San Francisco and like it just hurts. To oh watch. god. <laughs> um, but like I'm like okay, this can get a little cleaned up. But like I think if the if the physical like mechanics of it are gone, there's no way to fix that. And and with Decon Racing, it's definitely the case. It's just like moving through molasses. It's terrible. Oh god, that's unfortunate. <laughs> yeah. Also with like with with Mario Kart and like the first one and, and Super mm -hmm. Nintendo, there's something about sprites that's gonna that's always gonna look uh, like good or or cool. Like there there's something about the way those sprites are shaped. Oh for sure. They're like... always gonna look like. Not 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 terrible. Right. As opposed no, I, to what you see on the PlayStation One. I enjoy in some sprites. Sixty four games. Um, mm -hmm. but the gameplay in that Super Nintendo Mario Kart was. Oh yeah. Awful. I believe it. Yeah. yeah. Some games are just nice rough. to have in your collection. Oh yeah, for but sure. Aren't you know, not necessarily good to play. <laughs> for sure, anymore. and sometimes the nostalgia value trumps the uh, actual gameplay. Absolutely. But and uh, also, like, what was like, what was like a, a karting game before Mario Kart? Like, it didn't even exist. So like yeah. they had to kind of make yeah. a lot of that up too. Yeah. That's true. That's true. I didn't know karting games really existed before Mario Kart sixty four. I don't think mm -hmm. they did, right. did they? Well, besides uh, the Mario one. Yeah. 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 I feel like not in the same yeah. way. At least. Yeah. It's like shortly it's kind after of like how... Mario Kart sixty four. Then there was like Crash Team Racing, which was awesome. Mm -hmm. But that might be a game oh, if yeah, I went I back and played. It might be terrible. But <laughs> but when I was a kid, yeah. that game was awesome. Yeah, for sure. All right, uh, let's wrap it up. Uh, what's everybody working on so I can go pee? Mm. Um, Janet, what are, you, what are you working on or writing? Oh, writing-wise? Um, yes. I think I'm going to do, my next post is going to be about um, different ways to play FIFA 16. Um, so nice. basically, um, if you guys ever played those like old-school, ridiculous sports sims, like NFL Street, NBA Street, where it's like you're all souped up and it's like kind of silly. Um, so like me and my brother wanted to recreate that using a regular sports sim. So we did like silly matches, like um, one match, y the goal was to get the most red cards and it like counted towards your goals basically. But if you get a red, your player was ejected. So it was kind of crazy. <laughs> um, we did one, um, I'm not gonna give it all away. We did one game where we only took shots. So you could only hit B on the Xbox One. Oh so you were just taking, you either would take a shot really far away or you'd have to just dribble it. Like one player just goes up the whole field, <laughs> um, not passing anything. Um, so yeah, that's probably gonna be my next post. Nice. Um, Gunnar, come here, Yeah, come here buddy. <laughs> right. uh, Evan. Sorry, my Evan got a dog. I did get a dog, and he's currently locked in the room with me. Um, What's his aw. name again? Gunner. So cute. Gunner. Oh, cute. We rescued him. That was his name. So we figured we. Aw. Aw. Yeah. Right. So sweet. <laughs> me and Laura are the same person. It's fine. <laughs> he's a sweet. He's he's a very gentle uh, Labrador Retriever. But anyway, um, <laughs> I'm going <It's> wrong. to <laughs> wrong animal tonight. I'm going to uh, write. A review for this game called Nero. Nothing ever mm -hmm. remains obscure. Uh, mm -hmm. It was fantastic. It, it's only like twenty bucks. It's a indie developed game that was published by Sedesco, which I recently wrote an article about. Um, mm -hmm. And it was it was really good. It was very powerful. Um, huh. You know, like a, like a teary eyed sort of way. Gunner, Gunner, Gunner. It's okay, buddy. Um, <laughs> and then next week, next week I'm gonna have. Uh, the review up hopefully by Wednesday of uh, mm -hmm. I Am Setsuna, which is yes also nice. powerful. And I'm uh, playing that now. I love it. I love it. Mm. Nice. Um, yeah. So that's what I'm working on. Hey, Laura. Um, I was gonna jump on the Pokemon Go train a little late, but um, and talk <laughs> about uh Pokemon Go and like social anxiety and how it's kind of helped me in uh, that way as well, like having that common interest. So nice. Mm -hmm. oh, yeah. That's a good one. Um, what am I writing? Oh, I have, I'm doing a top ten with Eric on the top ten superhero games. No, slash uh, comic book based games. So nice. Ooh. We're gonna be actually. I think we're gonna be talking about that after we finish this podcast. So. Oh sweet. Having nice. a, a top ten in a while. So. True. That's uh, yeah. that's me. Mm -hmm. So that'll be fun. Nice. All right. So I don't know what to play to finish the cast. Um, I don't know. How about the Pokemon oh. song? Yeah, uh, <laughs> the Poker maybe. Rap. The po oh I, yes, the Poker Rap. Do the Poker Rap. Should I play Pokemon Rap? Because I played yes, Pokemon yes. Rap in one podcast before. I have done that before. What? What about I just, just like watching Indigo League? Just like it's the, good. <laughs> yeah, the I've been watching Pokemon a Netflix theme too. song. <laughs> Me too. 
the original Pokemon theme song. Or the oh, Pokemon I sang that song. in choir. I, I, my friends and I, we decided <laughs> in high school choir that would be the our song that we chose for like some concert. I froze I mean, up in the middle of it. <laughs> if I get it, like, if if I get enough votes from you guys to do the Pokemon rap again, then I'll play that again. You should. Um, I wish all of Big Cultures would do the Pokemon rap. Yes. Oh my, oh my god. god. All way through. <laughs> all right. Let's. I'll. I'll. I'll, I'll play. I'll play the Pokemon rap. Yeah. And um, we're doing the podcast weekly now, so we'll see you next week. All right. Yeah. See you guys next Sweet. week. Sounds good. Bye bye. See you. I want to be the best there ever was to beat all the rest.